Good evening, everyone. My name is Nicole, and here with me, I have a special friend from my childhood. This is Jeffrey, with a G, it does matter. Now, Jeffrey and I met a long time ago at a garage sale down the road from my house. Now, my parents and I were driving past it, and I saw Jeffrey on their driveway with a whole bunch of other animals, a whole bunch of other things, but he stood out to me. And I told my parents I want one of the stuffed animals, and even though it was five houses down, they would not come with me. They said I needed no more stuffed animals, which I probably didn't. But, nonetheless, they said that if I wanted to go down there with whatever money I had, that I can go get whatever I want, since it is, you know, my money. So as any seven-year-old would probably do in, like, the 2000s, I got my Razor scooter out of the garage and scootered my way down to the garage sale to go look at all the stuffed animals. And there I found Jeffrey, who, as you might see, is four foot tall. I am 5'2 for reference. And now seven-year-old me was maybe this high, right up there with the scooter. So I gave them my $5 for Jeffrey put him on the handlebars of my scooter and decided I now have to go uphill with the draft that's taller than me. And this was a great idea, seven-year-old mine. So, Jeffrey here represents more than just a stuffed animal to me. He represents the idea that no matter what kind of obstacle is in your way, whether it be a hill, financial struggles, or just a giant deadline on a project that you don't think you can complete, that if you keep pushing forward, you get up when you fall down, and you keep that goal in your mind and the end result of what kind of success and achievement you will feel, that you can make it up that hill, you can make it to your goal, and you can finish that project. On the other hand, Jeffrey evokes that kind of sense of childhood dream in me, that no matter what kind of plan you want, what kind of success you would drive for, that you can do it. My parents didn't think I needed another stuffed animal, but Jeffrey felt like it was something different for me. He was bigger than life, as my dreams were often described to be. I felt that something more was always available, that I could strive for more. And the foot taller giraffe was my symbolism for that. I always felt that I could be bigger than I was. I'm 5'2 with a 6'1 attitude for reference. I like to walk into a room and pretend that I can make a difference. Whether that be true or not, I believe it can be most times. Sometimes I do have to fake it, as I'm sure most people do when they walk up to a presentation in a giant lecture hall or in front of a school or just a classroom. We all know that feeling bubbling inside of us, that anxiety of what do I mess up on? What if I fall down? What if I make a big mistake in a sports competition? All of these kind of make your personality, your being dribble down to nothing. But when you're the size of Jeffrey amongst all other stuffed animals, you don't have to worry because eyes will always be on you. There will always be someone looking, but I can tell you that the people who look the hardest are the ones who wish they were where you are. So keep striving forward. Don't be afraid of the patches. Jeffrey's patches give him something good to live for. And always keep pushing forward. Keep going up the hill. Keep reaching for your parents' house to show them the $5 giraffe that you bought at the garage sale. <coughs>